In this short video, I'm gonna show you three things that you could do right now to become a successful artist. And now the reason why I'm making this video is because a lot of artists have been hitting me up and just simply asking questions about what to do next when it comes to promoting their music. You could be good at making music, you could be good at recording, but you still have to learn the other half, which is the music business. So in this video, I'm gonna show you three things that you could do to become a successful artist. No manager needed, no label needed. Now make sure that you pay attention to the end of this video because at the very end, I'm gonna make you an offer. I'm gonna give you a tool that can help take your career to the next level. So watch this whole video, but make sure you watch it to the end because I have something special for you. Ninja trick number one. As an independent artist, the biggest thing that you should be focused on is how to get on playlists. SoundCloud playlists, Spotify playlists, and Tidal playlists. I will start with Spotify because that's one of the biggest platforms that fans listen to music. So as an independent artist, Focus on getting on playlists. Now your question is, how do you do that? That's the ninja trick I'm gonna show you. If you go on Spotify, let's say if you're watching this, you're a rapper, by the way, this works for any type of artist in any genre of music. If you're a rapper and you're watching this, if you go on Spotify and find a genre of rap, if you click on that, you will then see tons and tons by the hundreds to the thousands of playlists. Now what you do is, your job is to get to the playlist curators. So let's say you're looking at uh, rap radar or just any type of playlist, what you would do is you would go to Google search and type that name in. You'll type in rap radar owner or rap radar curator and you press search. And what you do is you'll find their Instagram, you'll find their Twitter, you'll find their Facebook, you'll find an email or something linked to them. And what you want to do is you want to send them a message and you want to do this 10 times a day. And I guarantee you, your music will boost. We, I've tried this out for different artists that are out right now. We got them on over 30 different major playlists by just doing this one thing. So again, as an independent artist, your focus should be how to get on these different playlists. And there's tons of them. It doesn't matter what genre. And it doesn't even matter which playlist. You know, SoundCloud has playlists. Tidal has playlists. You need to actually be hitting these people up 10 times a day, hitting up the curators, because that means at the end of the month, you'll be on some of the biggest playlists getting streamed. You didn't have to pay a manager. You didn't have to pay somebody. You didn't have to do any of that crazy stuff that artists did. You bossed up on your own and did it yourself. So this is the message that you should be sending all the playlist curators. This is what you want to say in the email when you're writing the curators. Good afternoon. My name is, and then you put your name. I'm a recording artist based in, and then put your location. I'm writing you because I'm highly interested in being featured on your playlist and title. And then right there, you put the name of the playlist. If you look below, you will see I left a link to my music. Would love for you to check it out and give me feedback. Looking forward to hearing from your reply. Thanks. That's it. And that's pretty much it. That's the tip of the email that you should be writing all the playlist curators. You wanna put the groundwork in, you wanna build relationships with these people, that way you'll be straight for life. Every time you come out with a new hit single, you know exactly what playlist to put it on because you built those relationships because you did the groundwork and reached out to them. And I'm giving you this template message for absolutely free. Use this message and hit up 10 different curators a day. And I promise you, your music will get seen and heard on the biggest scale. Now the second biggest thing, as an independent artist that you should be focused on are blogs. The blog sites are very important. Let me break this down real quick. We live in a different day right now. In the modern day that we live in, most people are invested into who the artist is. Yeah, you can have a good song playing on a playlist, but we want to know who you are, and that's where the blog sites come in. People want to know your personality. People want to know where you're from, where you were born, and just your different takes on things. So the blog sites not only promotes your music, but it explains that. So there's A-level blog sites, B-level blog sites, and C-level blog sites. But you want to make sure that you're on them so people can know who you are, so people can hear and see your music worldwide. So you have Complex, Fader, Hot New Hip Hop, This Is 50. All these different blog sites help push our Artists, and there's hundreds and hundreds of them. So just like I taught you with the playlist, you should be doing the same thing with blog sites. You should be hitting up five to 10 different blog sites to feature you and to feature your music that you have on the playlist. Like, let me give you an example. If you go to worldstar.com, Worldstar has 22 million followers on Instagram and they have just about that many just going on the website. If you go on their website and scroll all the way down, if you go at the bottom that says contact us and click it, it'll actually give you a whole price sheet on what, how much they charge to get you on their website, which is about six hundred dollars. It may have been a little bit. It may be six to seven hundred dollars. 
But that's pricey, but that's the number one blog site in the world when it comes to urban music. But there are B-level websites that get traffic of thousands and thousands, and they may charge a hundred. And here's the thing, some of them will actually do it for free. If your music is good enough, I've seen World Star, I've seen Hot New Hip Hop, I've seen Complex, I've seen Genius. I've seen these people just put the music on, on their website just off the strip of it being good. So you should be hitting up at least five to 10 different blog sites a day. And I promise you, you will get on there. Now the third thing that you should be looking into as an independent artist is influencers. Now, no matter if it's TikTok influencers, no matter if it's Instagram influencers, this should almost be number one because it's getting that big. In the modern world that we live in, people love to laugh. And pe these influencers, they're doing dances, they're doing funny memes, they're doing funny videos. If they put your music behind it, I promise that challenge or whatever they did, it will take off immediately. There are some of the biggest artists right now, and the reason why you know about them is because you saw an influencer promoting it. You saw an influencer doing a challenge that everybody started to do. So influencers are one of the biggest ways that you can promote. And here's the thing, when it comes to TikTok and Instagram influencers, they are dirt cheap. I know people right now that have 1 million followers on Instagram and for $50, they will promote you not only on their page, but in their stories. I know people on TikTok that only charge $20 and they have 2 million followers, 3 million followers, 20 bucks. 20 bucks and 3 million people will hear your music and you will get seen and heard on the biggest scale ever. You don't need, again, I keep telling artists, in order to be a successful artist, you don't need all that stuff that people are going after. You don't need a label. We are in a new age where you can do it on your own. You no longer have to give a manager 15%. You no longer have to do a shady deal or give your soul to a record label just for them to take your masters and get 50% of your publishing. You don't have to do none of that crazy stuff that we see artists that we thought were bosses end up doing. There's so many artists that are on Twitter and we look at them as a boss and then all of a sudden they're like, at Interscope won't let me out of my contract. Here's the thing, if you want that big deal, if you want that big record deal, if you want that high-end investor to invest into you, you must first invest into yourself. You need to build value. Again, it is not about just making the music. That's only 50% of the battle, but that music needs to get out there so you can create value, so you can create brand awareness for yourself. Now, at the beginning of this video, I told you that I had a special offer for you. That special offer for you is called this. I'm presenting the industry plug list. This is a tool that I invented that will help you get seen and heard and will get you to that highest level that you want to be at. Let me explain. These three things that I showed you takes time. It takes time to find playlist curators. It takes time to go through hundreds and hundreds of blog sites. And it takes time to find the influencer that will post your music up. But what if I gave it to you? But what if I told you that I did all the work plus more? My industry plug list is a PDF file that I'll give to you that's a contact to everybody in the game that you need to be building a relationship with. For less than 30 bucks, I'm giving you the keys to the kingdom. And as a bonus, I'm gonna give you my top three email scripts, including the top email subject lines that work that have the highest open rate. That's right, I'm gonna give you the template. All you have to do is just fill it out and send it. You don't even have to think about what you're gonna hit them with. I've already pre-written it out for you, the best ones. When I was coming up as a producer, man, I was flipping burgers at McDonald's, but I came up with this email script and I sent it to 10 different artists and one person hit me back, which was Nicki Minaj. And then after that, I was Chris Brown and then Jay-Z and so many other people. So having an email script actually works. And guess what? Nobody's doing it. To this day, nobody will do that. People say that they have a dream. People will tell you what they want to do in life, but actions speak louder than words. And most people don't want to invest into themselves. Let me tell you something about humans. People will go out and invest into weed. They'll invest into drugs. They'll invest into going out and partying with their friends. They'll invest into Netflix. They'll invest into Jordans and shoes and clothes, but they won't invest one buck into themselves and they wonder why they won't make it. You don't invest into yourself and then nobody won't invest into you. You can't expect for somebody to give you a bag if you won't even put 20 or 30 bucks into yourself. These three things that I'm teaching you, nobody's teaching that right now. I'm teaching you how to be self-sufficient and how to do it on your own. I'm not gonna keep this open for long. I'm only gonna keep this open for a couple of days because a lot of people do not need this information. It'll only create more competition for you. So I'm only gonna leave this open for maybe a week. 
Sure. But if you're an independent artist and you're watching this, I'm gonna put a link below. I'm gonna put a button below in this video. Click that button, it'll take you to the checkout. Less than 30 bucks, invest into yourself. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. And most importantly, I hope you take advantage of the offer that I presented you. I'm looking forward to your testimonies from the industry plug list that you're gonna receive. Look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.